Before we get going, I need some tips because outside of sixth grade okay. C team basketball, it's oh, going to be the extent of my playing ability. Uh, well, this is not like actually how you shoot a basketball and pop a shot. It's like better to like kind of like see the Brooklyn Nets. Better just kind of like aim at that because all these balls are normally flat, a little bit softer. <laughs> see that? So use the backboard and pop a shot. Okay. Ready? Yep. Oh yeah, I guess we're going. How are we doing? I don't know who's winning. Who's winning. Close, right? <laughs> so I, I do have a question though for you because you know free throw was something you mm -hmm. worked on for a while. Take yeah. me through like that process and all the shots that you took for the um, time. So I hired a shooting coach after my rookie year, but it was like a long process of a lot of like frustration and me just getting so pissed at like not being able to shoot. But I'm so glad that I started then because you know, then you have the foundation. If I had waited four or five years into my career, I don't know that I would be still be in the league doing doing this right now, you know? So now we're gonna drop in on a pickup basketball game? Let's do it. All right, let's go. I warmed up. That would've been cool so. to make that. <laughs> <laughs> Take two. There we go. Imagine you're a kid and all of a sudden some big time NBA player shows up to watch you. What would you have been thinking? Oh, I would have been trying to show out for sure. Oh, you, you would show have? Up. Oh, yeah. When I was like, be playing in like the driveway, and, like a car would be driving by. That was like your audience. Like yeah. you do like the three, two, one, and the car drive by, and you try to hit the shot as they drive by. I always loved that. So I don't know. I mean, they might, kids might not even know who I am. Before we head over there and make a scene, what do you like about this sort of thing? The thing I love is it reminds me so much of like what I was doing when I was a kid when you're just playing basketball, you're finding anywhere, you're playing with whoever you can find to like get a pickup game going. It's like the basketball in its purest, like most beautiful form is just the love of the game. You wanna head over? Yeah, let's do it. What's up, man? Sure. Got it? Good, job. Good to meet you, buddy. That's the plan, man. That's the plan. What's up? Did y'all win? Y'all lost, huh? Blake out here, man. What's up, what's up? What's up, guys? How you doing? You guys learning today? I like your jersey. Yeah, of course. This is it camp? You guys working on your game? That's right, man. One, two, three. Go next. Get us that chip. I'm counting on you, Blake. Get us that chip, baby. Right, so when you were a kid growing up, how often would you do this? All the time, every day. How much was this responsible for success you had versus just kind of every day? I mean, this is like, like basketball's like anything else. Like the more the more you put into it, the more you're gonna get out of it. And it all starts as love. You know what I mean? It never starts as like you're in it for the money at like five years old. Like these kids, I mean, they probably want to play in the NBA, but I guarantee you they're not thinking about the money. Any interest in giving the kids some pointers? Yeah, I'll shoot around with them. Can I shoot with you? It's, no, no it's, there's, it's a wind tunnel. The wind's coming this way. Shoot a little bit further uh, left. Wow. See? You got a good shot. All right, let me see a step back. Let me see it. There you go. Whew. One more. I like that. All right, let me see a behind the back or between the legs, side step, jumper. Got that? Work, man. You got a nice game. Appreciate it, man. Good luck to you. Keep hooping. Let me guard you one time. <laughs> All right, you get one off now. Here we go. Sorry, I couldn't let you score the first one. Nice to meet you, buddy. So, what do you think? I remember those days. So, you know, I have a funny story actually. When I was like in eighth grade, I was at one of my brother's tournaments and I was shooting and LaMarcus Aldridge was like a senior in high school. He came in 
and he just like started shooting. Didn't really say anything, just started shooting with me. Now Lamarck and I are on the same team. We've played together before and like played against each other for a long time, but I guess kind of what that reminded me of. Hopefully someday he's in the NBA. Yeah, you, you, I mean, but you remember that moment for oh, life. Yeah. Oh yeah, remember it for life. The elite basketball camp that you run in Oklahoma. Mm -hmm. uh, why was that important to you? That's how you get like college looks. That's how you get college scholarship offers, and that's how you like make it to where we are today. So the opportunity to like give back. Sometimes that 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 level of basketball can get a little bit grimy, just because there's like you know some guys who are trying to use kids to make money or, or to get to the next level or do whatever it is. And I just tell parents like my brother and I don't want anything from from your kids. We've, I've gotten everything out of the game of basketball that I, that I could possibly want and more. And, you just want to pay it forward. Yeah, I'm like very happy and, 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 and proud to be able to, to do that with them.